Look at this. Imagine asking your boyfriend to take a photo of you pretending to give a shit when in reality you just want to post a photo of your ass in yoga pants because you were feeling yourself that day. Like what I want to know is where is the police brutality when you actually need it? Then you got this halfwit over here pretending she's actually fixing up the neighborhood. Imagine going up to someone and asking to hold their drill for a photo. Hi, excuse me, I'm not helping. So is it okay if I just pretend that I'm working with you so it looks like I'm helping? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ugh, and that phony thank you. Just listen to that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's the delivery and tone of someone who mimics what she thinks actual decent human beings sound like. What is this, some sort of performance activism? But yeah, go ahead, get in your car, drive away, start writing up your little inspirational caption and continue doing nothing, you fucking zero. Look at this one. The girl thinks she's at a fucking fashion show. This ain't a runway, dopey, it's the fucking street. I mean, what do you think this is, Coachella? This ain't something you pick a dress out for. It's a civil rights march, you dolt. And then you got these two. Yeah, let's wake up, get a picture with one of the activists, roll up our little poster, post it online, go home and pretend we did something. You should be able to just dump a jar of jelly on these people when you see them so everyone can identify them as the jelly spine frauds that they are as they walk home through the crowd in shame. Then you look to your right and you got two fruitcakes jumping for joy. Yeah, they're so fucking happy, right? Like they just do this organically without a camera wherever they go. Why don't you just go jump for joy on one of those tanks over there so they can fire you both into the ocean? Post that online. I'm sure you get a lot of likes for that one. Unbelievable. Look at this. Here we got a girl playing pretend. Yep, another one of these performance activists. Hey, white people. I don't know if you know this, but your real friends don't need to see you raising a fist in front of a black backdrop to know you're against racial injustice in America. You know what they would appreciate though? You actually being a genuine human being. What do you think, con woman? Could you pull that one off? Look at her making him take another one. She's like, take one more. It doesn't look real enough. The guy's like, no, this has to stop. But I have to prove I'm not racist. He's like, this is gonna backfire on you, I'm telling you. Then he just gives in. He's like, this is ridiculous. I just don't understand why you can't just post your black square and list all the ways you're privileged on Facebook like everyone else is doing. Why can't you express your white guilt like a normal person? Here, you happy now? Oh, you're still happy. Okay, now I just need to Google the right inspirational quote and we're good to go. What a couple of fucking frauds. Look at her. Like a new species of deer standing in the middle of the street. Let's just see how long this is. Are you on Snapchat? Excuse me. Are you on Instagram? The influencer deer, oblivious to the world. How do you not know a car is sitting right in front of you? Even deer look at the headlights. Sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. Then we got Luke from Two Live Crew making a comeback in the parking lot. Yeah, we're so influenced right now. I love how he looks around to see if anyone saw him. Don't worry, pal. The neighborhood was so influenced by your convulsions, everyone threw on a pair of gloves and started throwing paint at their clothes and installed a ski rack on their car so they could be cool just like you. Why do they always air themselves out when they do this, too? If that camera wasn't around, you'd think this girl was about to take a leak on the tree. And what is that noise their friends make behind the camera? Yeah. Yeah, they're... Yes. Yes. It's like a goat having an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> What is this shit? I don't think this guy needs a photo, honey. I'm thinking more of an exorcism. Imagine this was 1925. If someone were to rip their shirt off and scream in the middle of the street, they'd be thrown in a van and taken to a psychiatric ward to receive help. But today in 2020, uh, he's just influencing. Instead of receiving help, he receives likes. Huh, I guess you could just do anything anymore. Maybe tomorrow I'll just crab walk into the bank and have my buddy film me ripping my pants off. What is happening to us? Look at these two. Imagine taking a photo of a guy doing deadlifts in the middle of a crosswalk then getting upset when someone crosses the street. Oh, you're influencing. Yeah, the only thing you're influencing is natural selection. Why don't you stay there a little longer? Let it do its job. God, they're everywhere. How about you really try to live a life without seeking validation? Yeah, then you got this one. Thinks the world is an amusement park. There you go, that's how you gotta treat these people. Just push them to the side. Yeah, let's take selfies with wild bears now. Why not? Look at her shocked. Who'd you think it was gonna stand up, put its arm around you and make duck lips for your Snapchat? Ah, uh, nothing like snapping some mid-afternoon child endangerment photos. What's the caption for this one, lady? CPS take my child, hashtag deadbeat. Then you got this one, taking a photo with her entire identity. 
Well, this is the world we live in now, folks. The look at me generation, where everyone finds a way to make everything about themselves and make sure you see it. What a legacy to leave behind. Love her.